know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. The first thing I want to ask is Akira Toriyama, where was this level of design in any of the characters in Dragon Ball Super's many, many universes? Now, we do have some gems in the Tournament of Power, including Jiren, even though it's a very simplistic style, he still looks pretty badass. Dispo looks pretty cool, and there's a couple few other gems that really squeak by, but the level of design that I see in Android 21 for Dragon Ball Fighters is just Akira Toriyama at his best, and I would have loved to see some of this in the Tournament of Power for some of the other character designs because a lot of those character designs are essential throwaways and I guess maybe seeing as how the universes will be destroyed or de eliminated, erased anyway then they can be throwaways but again I would have loved to see a lot more characters that had more detail like this. Android 21 has been described as being as smart or smarter as Dr. Jiro and she is instrumental in reviving Android 16 in the Dragon Ball Fighters game, so I'm thinking that she's going to be a major part in it. I maybe we'll get one or two more unique characters that Akira Toriyama can create, but that is essentially her description up to this point of making this video. Breaking down her design, the first thing that really pops into your mind is the crazy red hair. Now, I am a sucker for red hair, and I love. I love it when it's applied in this level of detail. Now, the hair going all over the place in crazy, in a crazy mess really pushes the idea that she is some sort of crazy mad scientist and that she is and her intellect is above the rest. And I'm pretty sure that her intellect is what's going to be pushing and driving forward the story of Dragon Ball Fighters. Not to mention the red hair connects her to Android 16, which Apparently, a lot of people are saying that they could be related in some way. Uh, I'm not going to jump into it unless there's more evidence or there's more coming out of the game uh, news or, or information stating such. Her outfit is by far one of the best traits of her design. I mean, she does have the sexy librarian glasses, but the outfit itself really looks something similar to... Uh, 80s style uh, wear, very trendy uh, leggings. Uh, I love the mismatch of the colors. I love the the, the, the palette. Uh, looks very Irish or Scottish. Uh, my wife told me she looks a little bit more like Harley Quinn. And seeing as how Akira Toyama created Margarita and her clown god of destruction, it seems like he's probably been influenced a little bit by Batman. Plus, if she is a playable character, she is going to be joining in the ranks of the very limited amount of women in Dragon Ball throughout all its mediums that can fight in high heels. I know it's been a while since I've done this. The hurricane messed up my flow a little bit, but I wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to Nerd But Not Really. He commented on my Akira Torama Master of Subverted Expectations video. I'm so glad you were safe and blessed, bro. My fam had to evacuate too. Power still isn't on. Congrats on your quick page success as well. I hope to be like you soon. Welcome to Stop By Star. So this is a couple days ago, so I'm hoping at this point in time if you're watching this video that you do have power on. I know a lot of people in my area still don't have power. Uh, hopefully today they are saying that they may have power. So I'm hoping that that's the case for you and that the evacuation went smoothly for you. Uh, thank you for uh, wishing me safety and, 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 and blessing me essentially. And um, thank you for the uh, wishing me success or you know complimenting me on it. Uh, it's not just me, it's you guys. You guys are watching the videos and commenting, liking, and being part of uh, my page and uh, the community that we're building here. So really means a lot. Thank you so much. Now I wanted to go ahead and get into some of my general thoughts on this character. Uh, for one, and the most important thing, um, this character is essentially Bay. She is the most uh, aesthetically pleasing, probably the most attractive, in my opinion, of any of the Dragon Ball characters that we've seen up to this point, and that includes Vados, for me anyway. I know you know, some people have Vados uh, in a special place in their heart. I also like Margarita's design, and of course Android 18 and Bulma, but just the way she looks, um, I'm, I'm hoping that the way she looks, it, it reflects in a cool and, and very uh, specific way 
when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters, when her personality and stuff like that, when we get more information on that, or uh, I'm definitely going to get the game, so I'll be able to play and see exactly if I like her even more, or maybe I like her even less. Uh, I think that she, it makes sense for her not to be that strong. So the androids, uh, the further the number went down for excluding Android 8, the more powerful the androids became. So essentially Android 20 was, you know, the clown android, he was weak, uh, weaker than uh, Dr. Jero's own model. Then you have 18 and 17, 17 is slightly stronger than 18, and then you had 16 who could uh, basically tank Imperfect Cell, which 17 could not. So when the numbers go up, they get stronger now. They could change this up at some point in any given circumstance. They could change this up and make her strong. I mean, they made 17 extremely strong, by far surpassing 16. And so they could do the same thing. But I, the way they are explaining her that she's as smart as Dr. Jero, I think that her wit and her, is going to be her strength. Her intelligence is going to be her strength. And again, what I said earlier is that pushes the story along. She could still be a competent fighter in her own right. Maybe she's got some abilities that we haven't seen. Maybe if you, if we see the palm of her hands, she's got the suction that you know A7, um, 20, and 19 had. But again, it, it, it could just be that she's extremely intelligent, extremely smart. Now, is she completely artificial, or is she a sort of cyborg hybrid like 18 and 17? So I would like her to be a cyborg. Uh, hybrid personally just because you know in that case she can go and settle down sort of like 18 did but it, the evidence from what we know so far kind of pushes in the direction that she's completely artificial because I mean out of all the androids she summoned 16 which he is completely artificial but he is from what my understanding is he's a replica replica or his he's been modeled after Dr. Jero's deceased son so she could have some sort of special connection to this android uh, again people are speculating that this could be you know a modeled after his sister so she could have that special bond um, the android anyway uh, but again I really hope that she is half artificial and half um, human as well so that way because I think that that's where we get the most amount of her inner strength um, just like 17 and, and 18, or well, 18 is pretty strong, and 17 is extremely strong. I think that human aspect, that earthling aspect, is what really pushes you further beyond when you're an android. But those are essentially my thoughts on this character and the character design. Definitely had to make this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this character, and I want to ask you guys what is, where does she fall in line when it comes to your the the, the best female character designs that you that you've seen in Dragon Ball Super. Drop me a like or Dragon Ball in general. Drop me a like if you like my video, and it's gonna be Dragon Ball Black signing off.